I want to say thank you to Jay Delwanda. Please tell me if I said that correctly. Please correct me in chat if I didn't, but thank you for the follow and welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy the stream. All right, here we are, losers round two. Wilsonator versus Deadlocked AI. Sorry about that, folks. Um, I did get the uh, the location for Revival of Ultimate. It is Monster Mini Golf in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I'm having gonna have an updated flyer sent over to uh, have that on screen uh, in just a little bit after this next match here. But enough about that. Right now we got Wilsonator on the Sephiroth versus Deadlocked AI on Lucas, and already a stock lead has been established. And Deadlock is looking pretty clean here, getting to move in and find those uh, those bigger setups and. Uh, pressure combos that Lucas is capable of. The uh, Z-drop area we saw just a little bit ago. Wait, what just happened there? One hit of Octoslash hit Deadlocked AI and just sent them spiraling way off stage. Not enough to uh, threaten the stock there, but certainly enough to at least uh, be scary if you don't know what's going on. I certainly didn't. Wilsonator now has the ledge here. This is their chance utilizing the counter to stop the PK Thunder. Just the easy lineup, you know, that linear recovery. You only got, you only move one direction once it starts. Just jump right in the way, throw that counter out, and that's a stock. And now Wilsonator is at least on even footing stock-wise. So a little behind percentage-wise, but it's nothing Sephiroth cannot make back. I mean, this character does some crazy damage if you're able to start making the hits. And the wing is online as well, which is exactly what you want to see. You have to navigate around the PK Thunder, though. I, is there another double jump online? There is, but Wilsonator not able to quite snap the ledge with Octoslash, Deadlocked AI getting that early K or relatively early KO with the uh, PK Thunder just forcing the offstage interactions. And that thing is going to be a problem for Wilsonator. Air dodging, probably maybe assuming that the tech needed to happen there, but instead just delaying or increasing their uh, end lag off stage, giving Deadlocked AI game one. Sweet. All right, so we'll get that updated flyer up on screen for you all right after this game. Actually, uh, Okami, can you go ahead and open my Discord over there so that after this set is over, I can really quickly replace that slide. And wow, already going right into game two. So, Wilsonator, I mean, seemed like there was at least a moment Wilsonator was able to start navigating the matchup here, going to FD, which feels, you know, normally feels pretty advantageous for Lucas. It seems like a pretty solid stage for Lucas with the, uh, the PK fire and the ability to zone, but Frankly, Sephiroth's sword is just... Feels like it has a little more range than PK Fire does, absorbing the Shadow Flare there. That's uh, not what you want to see. Almost dying again with the uh, the air dodge off stage. Wilsonator's really going to need to be a little more careful and not default to that air dodge. A stock already gone, just like that. And Wilsonator now just trying to find some way to swing back, trying to get in with that down tilt, but just not able to find a solid hit. The PK Thunder not going to connect to the tackle there. Three orbs now up and ready to go, and now Wilsonator's going to try to move in to stop it from just being healing for Deadlock, but not there quick enough. Already back to 0%, just putting up so much healing for uh, Deadlock. And... Wilsonator hasn't really been able to find a way in with much else. Gonna get kicked right out of the Octoslash as well. Deadlock is just locking on to Wilsonator's habits here. Another heal. Shadow Flare has just perhaps been Wilsonator's worst enemy at this moment. This time, though, I don't think there's gonna be a chance for the heal to happen, but instead Deadlock going for the up smash, which does at least take another stock, if not the heal. And, you know, that, at the end of the day, that's more important. And the heal, and no, whatever. You, you don't really care about zero, being at 0% all that much. But having the extra stock is uh, certainly, certainly a boon. And Wilsonator now just trying to find a way in, using that landing up air. Trying to hit that last hit just to uh, decrease the uh, hit lag. Or, um, not hit lag, but frame increase the frame advantage there. Deadlock is just playing around with this ledge, which is a dangerous thing to do against Sephiroth, but Wilsonator hasn't quite been able to shut it down just yet. 
being short, too, really uh, is uh, giving Will Snader problems here. Deadlocked being so close to the ground means some of these landing up airs that would have connected on other characters just aren't connecting here. Deadlocked committing to the PK free is a little bit too close, though, giving Will Snader time to get the dash attack. And even, or no, not even the stock's up, but at least it's a little bit closer here. But Will Snader's just got a long way to go in this loser's round, too, if he wants to uh, be able to... Stay alive in this set. Oh, that was almost it right there. But moments later, not able to recover with the Octa Slash. You saw the up smash almost came out. Something hit, actually. And maybe there's an early hit on up smash I'm not aware of that bounced Wilsonator out. But ultimately, it did not matter.